If you feel a lack of motivation, this video is for you. I want to show you three ways you can retrain your mind. Many people believe that motivation is just something we're born with. And so we just watch other people be successful and we're like, well, that's just how they are. That's not the truth. Actually, our minds are designed to stop us from doing things that might hurt us. So our brains are not designed to put us in risky situations. They're designed to protect us. So when you want to start a new business or you want to start a new relationship that you're afraid of, your mind knows that that's risky. It can feel your heart rate going up and it's, it's something that you're not comfortable with. So your mind is designed to protect you from that. So motivation in and of itself is really not your fault. Um, motivation shows itself in the way that we decide things. The good news is you have three ways, three decisions that you can make, that you do have control of. We can decide what we wanna focus on. Number two, we can decide what things mean to us. And three, we can decide what we are going to do. Every person has the ability to make those three decisions. These are decisions that control our lives. So if you're staying at a job that you hate, you're there because you decided to stay there. If you're in a body that you're not happy with, you have it because you decided not to do something about it. If you are in a relationship that might be abusive or maybe not the best thing for you, you're there because you decided to stay. Does that make sense? Many people blame other things and you're making that decision to blame, but in all reality, you have the power to change and the power to decide. And that's hard to do, it's not easy, but people who do step out of their comfort zone and they make those decisions, those are the ones that you can see big things happening. I believe that rich people or billionaires or millionaires are really smart people, but they're really not. What they have in common is they procrastinate less, they make fewer or no excuses, and they take action every single day. Look at somebody that you admire and notice that they're taking action and they believe in themselves and they don't spend time dwelling on all those things that they could make excuses about. They take ownership of what they're doing. The first step in deciding is deciding. In, in changing your mindset, the first step is in deciding. Indecision is the thief of opportunity. There is a book out called The Five Second Rule. I'm not offering it or anything, but the, the theory behind that is we have five seconds to make a decision. So when you're laying in bed in the morning and you hear the alarm go off, you have five seconds to make a decision. You're either gonna hit that alarm or the snooze button or you're gonna jump out of bed. Think about that every time you have a decision to make. When you go to um, maybe eat something, maybe you're on a diet or trying to eat healthy and you see that bag of chips sitting on the counter, you have five seconds to decide, am I gonna eat them or not? And that is really where all that action takes place is within that five seconds. You are making the decision. Your life is what you think it should be. So what you think, what you decide that your life should be that's what it's going to be. Everything that you're thinking now of who you are, that is who you have become. So if you have made a decision and you said, well, I, I'm just big boned or I just carry more weight or maybe I'm just a sloppy housekeeper, whatever it is that you say about yourself, it's true because you made the decision to become what you think. Pretty deep, isn't it? But it is the truth. If you look forward and make decisions of who you want to be, that's the first step in changing your mindset. The second step in retraining your mind is taking ownership. Do you realize the billionaire and the beggar, while they have two extreme different uh, incomes, they both have the same 24 hours every day. Whether you're white, whether you're black, whether you're old, whether you're young, whether you're from the United States or from Indonesia, wherever, we all have the same 24 hours and we have to decide how we're going to spend it. We have to take ownership of that time. It's when you realize that you have the power to make a decision that will change your life. It'll change everything. It's amazing. But you have to take that five seconds that we all have and make that decision for good or for bad, for what you are or for what you wanna be. You have to decide. When you take ownership, you don't make excuses. You don't let other people or other things, you don't blame them for everything. You control your own destiny. You control your own life. You take ownership. You own the good 
and you own the bad. You own your past mistakes. You, you own your um, problems. You own all those bad things that you've done. And then you also own the solutions to make those things right. So you have to own it all. There's no victim mentality when you change and control your own mindset. So number one, you decide. Number two, you take ownership. And number three, you plan on having self-discipline. Self-discipline comes in three different steps. One, you decide, then you plan, and then you start taking action. And that gives you that self-discipline. Did you know that 90% of successful people are su successful because they take action and they have self-discipline? They don't sit around and talk about things. They go out and do it and they do it well. And even if they do it wrong, they take ownership and then they do it again and get it right. They don't stop. They don't sit there and dwell on things. And really, did you know the opposite of self-discipline is laziness? So look at people that don't really have any results. They're usually laying around watching TV, playing video games. They're lazy. They have made a choice not to take action in their life. They're just letting it happen. But you be the person that takes action. Decide what it is that you want. And number two, take ownership of your entire life and make those changes that you want, especially when it comes to making money and changing how you interact with your family. And number three, have the self-discipline to make that decision within that five seconds so that you make the right decision and make changes. If you do this continuously day after day and look at it as just a five second chunk, those little five seconds consistently, those changes that you make day after day after day will add up and all of a sudden you'll have a life that you are in charge with, that you have charge of. You've learned to take control of your own life. I hope this was helpful to you, but many people, like I said, they don't become successful in their business because they think they don't have what it takes and you do have what it takes. You just have to change your mindset about who you think you are and stop blaming other people, stop making excuses, and stop letting the rest of the world control your life. You have that control. You've just got to take it. All right. Thank you for watching today. I've got a startup guide below. If you're looking at starting a business, you can go ahead and look at that. Start today um, and start a business online or, or do something else. Um, go get in a weight loss program or, or uh, join a business that's local to you in your community, but do something that you've always wanted to do. I don't care if it's online business or anything, but make a decision. There's something that you've been itching to do and you felt you've been feeling like you weren't worthy enough, but you are, you really are. It all starts right here, my friend.